Chambertron RE is based on the Chamberlain M series of keyboards, which used tape-based playback. It's like a very early form of sampling, long before digital sampling was available. And it's the kind of sound that was made popular in the, uh, in the days of yore by um, various sort of prog bands, but also found its way into pop music. And what it does is it stays faithful to the 35-note, 8-second limitation of the original keyboards. Obviously, you have quite a few preset patches. It's a really nice sounding instrument. So you have two layers. You have two identical layers shown here in red and green. And of course, these can be used independently or together and you can mix them together. So for example, what I might want to do, if I just quickly reset this device, So here I've reset the device, so it's just now using one sample in layer A. And it's completely dry as you can hear. So I could maybe choose a different tape sample here. I could try something like harp. Which has got that really lovely sort of tape wavering vagueness to it. Sounds fantastic. Or here is a piano. So that's, you can hear that when I let go of the keys, there's no sustain, which is how it would have been with a real tape instrument because the tape stops playing. So for each of these layers, I can do things like changing the attack when the tape comes in, how much it's detuned, if at all, how it's panned, and the level of this layer. I can also choose to reverse the tape. Play at half speed. Which gives you this very, very vintage kind of effect. Of course, these controls are the same for both layers. So everything that I'm doing here, you could also do in layer B. I can also apply an LFO to the filter. Or to pitch, which is pretty weird. I could also make sure that syncs to my host tempo. So if you used a kind of gentle amount of that, You can get a really retro sound. It's pretty wobbly. And I could do the same thing in bank B. I could bring in another layer. I could temporarily mute bank A. Now, if I just call up another preset. You can hear that this has lots of effects already applied to it. And down at the bottom here, there is uh, an effect section with delay and spring reverb, which can be used to add a lot more kind of vintage space to those sounds. So it's a really nice instrument for just playing around with different tape samples. So for example, here's a vibraphone. So it can be made to sound a lot like a synth, actually. It doesn't just have to sound like a vintage instrument. I've also got velocity controls down here, velocity to amplitude and velocity to filter. And of course, filter and amp envelopes on the right. I can manually set my bend range up here as well as master tuning. It's very good at detuning this instrument. 
And if I flip the rack around, you can see on the back, I have fairly straightforward CV inputs here for each layer. And they're color coded just like the layers on the front. 